Hello, this is Aldo from ExcelNinja.com. Today we're going to be looking at drop-down lists, uh, how to improve and make your the process of inputting data in your spreadsheet more efficient, faster, saving you time and money. Say, for instance, you need to plug in um, what people in your team or uh, colleagues have sold um, in a particular on a particular day. You need to put in the salesperson name and what they sold. So you could, you know, just type in Mark, John, etc., etc. It will take you time. Imagine if you have got hundreds of them. You can make errors. It'll gonna take you time, etc., etc. So how can you speed up the process? First of all, you need to create lists. Um, so you will know the names of your um, colleagues and employees, and you will know the what you sell. So you just create a list, and to create a list. We need to name it to give it a name. So we select uh, the, the range containing all the employees' names and we call it. We call it something like employee. So for instance, uh, you select the range and then you come and click here and you just say employee, enter. And as you can see now, when you click out, it just gives you the name of the cell, B3. When you select the range, it tells you, okay, this range is called employee. It's a list called employee. We do the same thing for products. Again, we go up here and we click uh, name it products, enter. And again, we have a list called products. So remember that employee and products. So the next step now is to go into the where we actually want to input this information and click on the cells, the whole range where we will be inputting the salesperson's name. And then we go to, I'll show you, into the data ribbon of the menu and you want to select data validation. In this you select here data and validation and you go to settings and basically this allows you to specify what you allow uh, to be input in the in this particular range that you've selected so we want to allow which whatever is on the list uh, that we have created and we uh, tell that the source is the list employee and then we click OK and as you can see, there's a drop down icon here whereby when you click it, it will present you with the options that are available in the list that you created, the employee list. So then you just click on the name that is relevant, and uh, there you go. Much easier, much faster, less problems. Same thing for items sold. Select the whole range where you want to apply the data validation, then you click on data validation. And again, you allow within the settings tab, you allow instead of any value, you allow the list, and this time is products. Click OK. And again, here you can see okay, you can choose between all the products that you saw that you sell that you have set up a list for. So, you, on the 4th of 2nd, 2012, Mario sold a laptop. And you just uh, same date. This time, Mark sold a phone. And as you can see, this is much quicker, much easier, and uh, it's something that will allow you to save time, money, and be more precise about creating uh, information in uh, creating and recording information in Excel.